fans, and today we are playing uh, Mother 3, the English version. Uh, this is a free and official translation made entirely by dedication, uh, by dedicated Mother Earthbound fans. Please support this series by purchasing official merchandise, including the official translation if one is ever released. I doubt one will ever be released. I think this is the only one we're ever going to find. Mother three. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. The younger twin brother, a gentle boy. Huh. We'll name him Nemo. Just because. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. Mm. We'll name them Nemo and Renmo. Yeah, what the hell not? The strong, kind, and dependable father. We'll name him Brad. The beloved mother. Mm, I'll name her Cheryl. And the brave, smart. How many people do I have to fucking name in this game? God. Okay, fine, I'll name the fucking dog. Name dipshit. What's your favorite homemade food? Oh. Cock. We'll just say cock. No, no, that is not my favorite homemade food. Okay, I'm just trying to be clever here. Open your minds. Get your minds out of my life. What is your favorite thing? You guys know where this is headed. With my dark humor, humor, bleh, can't even talk today. With my dark humor, you should know by now. Sex. They like to fuck. Why not? Tech speed. Window color. Ooh. I like that one. Okay, we got Nemo, Remo, Brad, Cheryl, Dipshit, Favorite Food, Cock, Favorite Thing, Sex. Yes, that is okay. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. God, that fucking music! It's so fucking awesome! <laughs> Nowhere Islands.
That's a shitty looking village. Tasmeli village, no wonder. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Where the cows and the pigs and the cocks like to all fuck. Home of Alec, Cheryl's mother, who likes to fuck his livestock without you even knowing it. There's Nemo. Nemo, how long are you going to sleep? Uh, forever? As long as I fucking want? Shut the fuck up. Get up so we can play. Play with yourself, you little gay faggot boy. Get up already. Me. The dragos brought their babies over. The dragos? Is it like Drago Malfoy or something? I fucking hope not. They're really cute. Oh, I bet. Hurry up. Meh. Yeah. Uh, fine, we'll get the fuck up. Rubber eyes. No problem here. No problem here. In the same bed head as always. Fucking right. Look, he's doing Pilates. A real wood burning stove. I think that's a cool effect that you can see yourself in the mirror. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's go down the stairs. Looks like a bed. No problem here. The fireplace is nice and clean. No problem here. Let's see what our bitch mom wants. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Nemo. Remo has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Fuck right, bitch. If I want to play in my goddamn pajamas, I fucking will. Scoot upstairs to change your clothes. No. Then you could stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Fine. God, what a cunt. Fuck you, you bitch. I hope you die. It's what every teenager says to their parents. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss coming in your room and molesting you at night. Yeah, sure, motherfucker. Get the fuck away from my peen. Ooh, foggy. The story is a series of memories. Memories. Yeah. Memories are remembered with other memories. And in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us, frogs, your memories of everything so far. What, that is what people refer to as saving. Now then, hop, save your game. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I'll squish your little frog brain in. The fuck? 
He just knocked that fucker down. They're fucking dinosaurs. Surprised that fucking thing hasn't eaten them. Huff, gasp. Ooh, I'm beat. I've been playing, fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Nemo. I guess. Here, try ramming into a drago. <laughs> Remo, Nemo still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Oh, he's a virgin. Okay, that's to be expected. Nemo, try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second to let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into a, that drag over there. Remo, show him an example. Yes, show me an example of how to ram your dick into Drago. Just like that. Now it's your turn, Nemo. Give it a try. Uh, you'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Oh, God. Fucking grandpa. Really? Okay, I ran my dick in into it three times. Now uh, what? The harder you run to the more dragos like it. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Move it out of the way. Make way for the great mole cricket. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. Yeah, right. I'll fucking crush your ass, you little bitch. Let's bash this little fucker in the ground. Boom. Side win, fucker. That little thing was just a piece of shit. Ooh, I knocked him unconscious. I see you have more spine than I thought. If you like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time you meet, it'll be at the big Mo Cricket Hall Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. Don't you bro me. No oh god, it's a bitch. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. No, I hope it died. Just like I hope your ass dies. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite boy's cock. <laughs> oh my god. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna eat cock. <laughs> well, it, it could eat a chicken. It could. Who knows? Maybe not. Ooh, lunch, lunch, cock. <laughs> you too, Dad. Mmm, yeah, but I'd love to have me some cock. Now then. Listen, folks, here is how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving's absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. I need some cock. Hey, wait for me. You said we should cock too, I hope. <laughs> oh, God.
That is so fucking funny. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, cock? Then your favorite is the same as ours? We make a good match. Oh, yeah. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. So that way I can eat your dad's cock. It's my most favorite cock of all. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet you, even you could handle it, Lemo. Ha ha ha. What the fuck you say to me, old man? I'll fucking wipe the floor with you. Dear Brad, just like you said they were, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Ne Remo is so staring and full of energy as ever, while Nemo's still a bit coddled, but neither one seems so tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I have forgotten how nice and refreshing mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmilly Village. So I wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to his sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Remo, Nemo, and I were always thinking of you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite cock right away. With love, your dearest Cheryl. Ooh, yeah, they're gonna fuck. Now fly, my little birdie. Ooh. I don't like that distorted music. That distorted music is unsettling. this fucking weenus? Man, look at the piggies run! What the fuck? Those fuckers. Chapter One Night of the Funeral. Ooh. I do not like the sound of that. <clears throat> Brad, Brad, Brad! It's a fire, a fire, a fire! The sunshine forces on fire in a huge, fiery, flamey fire. 
Okay, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? Fireplace and firewood. You could take a nap on this bed. Take a quick rest. Machine for spinning a wall. Ah, oh, got it, got it. Shut up, Dizzy. You gotta do something quick, Brad. It's the forest, the forest, the forest, the forest on fire. Jeez. Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours, Brad? Um, I would, so that way fucking little bastards like you don't get in. Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Ah, oh, the doorknob. I mean, breath. This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please, come, Brad. Please. Fine. Fuck it. I'll fall behind you. What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like falling behind people. Yeah, I'm sure you do. He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Brad got a stick. Hey Brad, that stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first though. Just holding on to it will make it useful as a car caramel. It's really noisy out here. You're supposed to be quiet at night. I'm a good dog, so I'm being quiet. <laughs> Alright, equip. Damn, that bitch got a wide freaking smile. I love the Joker. Hold on, we don't have a map. Better go get one from Mapson. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Uh, fine, I gotta get a fucking map. There we go. Alright, so if we're right there, we need to go right there. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Tasmanian Village, Sunshine Forest. Alright, he wants us to go west. Nope. Brad, wait, 
Hey, hold up. Any responsible person heading into the forest would first stop by the sanctuary to say a little something to the forest gods. Are you fucking kidding me? At least that's my opinion anyway. Is it? Is it so wrong of me to think that way? Yes. It is. Ah. Fine. Okay. There, I went in the sanctuary. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big giant forest fire. Get the fuck out of the way. Mr. Batty. Nice. Oh, hot spring.
There. Okay, that should be, um, worrisome. His son's name is Fuel, and the guy's name is Lighter. Oh shit. Ah. Ah, shit, I was trying to go around it. Hey, Lighter, are you alright? No, he's unconscious. He's fine. Brad. Oh, and Thomas. Damn it. <laughs> I tried to beat these things up, but more just kept coming. I can't get past them. <laughs> What is that thing? A bug? <laughs> Don't know. I could go around the forest line fires. But never mind that. Feel still at home. What? Fuel still in your shack? Brad, you gotta go help fuel. Oh, look after lighter. Oh, shit. Uh, Firefly and his cohorts. Okay. Oh, shit.
Yeah, of course I fucking won. Yay, more nut bread. Is it bread with nut in it? As in, did they nut in my bread? I really recommend you save now. Damn, I think he just died. No problem here. You could probably just bust it open by ramming into it. Oh, shit. Flying mouse. Mr. Brand. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're all black. I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive. Oh, you're black, pitch black too, Mr. Brad. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Brad. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much, Mr. Pitch Black Brad. Okay, that's enough, fucking kid. Oh, yeah. We need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. No, he just passed out sleeping in the middle of the street. He's not worried about you at all. Oh, where the fuck is he? Oop, shit, shit. Nah. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's try to see where else I should go. Fuck. Ah. 
Brad, you're pitch black and covered in soup, but you're all right. Being a responsible man I am, I managed to get to bring lighter here. Hurry and let me see fuel. Okay, I don't fucking see him here. Oh. Dad! That voice, is that you feel you're all right? What the, what in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in suit. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist this like so, and then do this, and then... What is he trying to fucking fix his leg, seriously? Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my injury my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? It looks like you're being a dumb fuck. Anyways, we're sure Lucky Brad showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter always had been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. What you wanna suck my dick too, bitch? Thanks, Brad. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. Fucking right you owe me. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. You're right. The only thing that can make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. Fucking really? And now it's starting to rain. Let's just hope this rain puts out the fire. We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. There you are, Brad. You're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Tasmili last had rain. Brad, please get some nice rest. Ooh, I think Brad deserves a beer. Mm-hmm, sure. No beer? Fuck you.
Brad. Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? I think I'll join you under the awning. Brad? Tell me. Have you seen Cheryl and the kids? I see. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught sight of Cheryl. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. It sounded like it might have been a drago that was roaring. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. Say, Brad, showing the kids might made it back home, right? Um, I'll come back for your ass later. Where do I need to go? Brad, you should probably head back home and check on things. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. It's a letter from Cheryl. Dear Brian, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and the fields tirelessly since the moment they we arrived. Rima was as daring and full of energy as ever, while Nemo is still a bit coddled. Neither but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but they should be home by this evening. I have forgotten how nice and fresh your mountain air is. We're, you're always covered in snow. She back in Tasmania Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take them this air. The next time you visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Remo, Nemo, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking you some of your favorite cock right away. With love, your dearest Cheryl. Oh no, she's not home to cook my cock. Cut.